Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those that are new and welcome to another video. So if you read the title, you know that I will be doing another perfume review from Victoria's Secret. And it's so crazy because anybody well if you watch my previous videos about Victoria's Secrets and the Tease collection you all know that that's my favorite favorite perfume collection from Victoria's Secrets the original Tease the Cloud etc like I really really enjoy the Tease collection part from Victoria's Secret and it is a gourmand and I tend to gravitate towards gourmand so that might be the reason why I am obsessed and at this point Victoria's Secret you need to sponsor me because I've been giving the girls reviews back to back to back since i am doing a perfume review you have to tell me or comment your fragrance of the day down below and my fragrance of the day is mon guerlain top tier baby top tier let me just go ahead and give y'all a quick backstory on how i just purchased this perfume today i just uploaded my victoria's secret perfume review on their new signature fragrance called bear and as I was uploading my video, I saw another YouTuber have a video will have a perfume review on this perfume called Tease Sugar. And I was like, first of all, <laughs> I know about any teas that's coming out. Why didn't I know about this? So I was truly heartbroken, yet grateful that I saw her video because if I didn't, I would have never known that they came out with another teas. So since I am a huge, huge fan of their teas collection, I didn't even go, you know, test it out, see if I liked it. I just went ahead, put it in my cart, and got my order. And luckily, I was able to do a store pickup. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest, I was so excited and so nervous to smell it. So I did go ahead and smell it in the store. And let me just tell you. I don't think y'all ready, but I'm ready. So I went to go. Here's the pickup. I literally placed my order today and picked it up today as soon as i found out y'all it just says pick up pick up slip in my name or whatever if you cannot tell pink is my favorite color you know i love pink every bad <laughs> loves pink but um the bottle or the color of the perfume alone sold me so i was like i have to have that a part of my aesthetic because as you can see i have the pinks going on here and why not it just have another perfume to match your aesthetic you know so the perfume that i'm going to be reviewing today is called tease sugar fleur and i hope that i'm pronouncing it right if i'm not please do not kill me in the comments because y'all know how y'all like to tussle but yes it's the victoria's secret tease sugar oh my gosh i am so excited look at this i love the pink 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 Pink. I have it out of the box and let me just tell you look how cute that is oh my god <laughs> oh my god I think I'm really raving about this bottle because it is pink like this is so pretty so pretty of course you have the little rose here that's giving and it's just the classic teas perfume bottle here we go I love when I get perfumes and I love the way that it smells because when I blind buy perfumes, the goal is for me to absolutely love it. And let me just tell you, I think we have a new winner here. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. I really love, love, love this scent. It might be better than the original at this point for me. And I'm not even joking. Oh my God. This is a very, very, very pretty girl fragrance. Oh my gosh. That's how I knew. I knew I was not going to be disappointed when I got this perfume. I just knew. Like, it's something about me and T's that just clicked. This is us. And y'all know, of course, you have to let the perfume settle on your skin. But that opening is something so beautiful. I have not smelled. I don't think I've smelled anything like this before. And that says a lot because I have a lot of fragrances that are kind of similar or in the same category. But this smells so... I'm not going to keep saying it. I would consider this a pretty girl fragrance. Like there's nothing more, nothing less. It's just I feel pretty, I smell good, and I'm on my... Sh 
So now we're going to get into the notes so you all can see whether or not this is something that you would like or, you know, gravitate towards. So let's get into it. Okay, so in the product description, it says, get swept away in a floral candy dream, bright and sweet. Tea Sugar Fleur is an extension of our iconic teas fragrance. This perfume opens up with a fresh tart pop of pink lady apple for a burst of energy. At the heart, jasmine buds are dipped in pink caramel with a surprisingly sophisticated hint of bubblegum. At the base, a glow of amber crystals and sandalwood softens the sweetness of comforting warmth. They always know how to say the right things to get you to buy the fragrance because what? Pink caramel? A hint of sophisticated bubblegum? A burst of pink? lady apple the fragrance type is a floral gourmand period i love my gourmands the notes in this perfume are fresh apple jasmine buds and pink caramel when it comes to the fresh apple note they are saying that they're using a pink lady apple that is sweet tart and crisp the jasmine buds in this fragrance is a warm floral note known for its intoxicating signature the pink caramel in this fragrance is a warm sugar and bright bubblegum blend to add a light touch of candy. So I'm super excited because they just, they have been coming out with these perfumes back to back to back. And we all know, ladies, that perfumes last longer on the skin than your average toilet because perfumes are more oil based and toilets are more alcohol based. So I really, really, really love the fact that this is a perfume because I would love to smell like this all day, 24 seven. We all know that fall is approaching, wait no, Baby, fall is here. <laughs> what am I talking about? We all know that fall is here, which means this is a great... Well, I would say you could definitely do this in the spring and summer, but I'm the type I wear my fragrances throughout the whole year, throughout the whole seasons. If I like it, I'm going to wear it. But I guess you could... In the, in the opening, you would think that this is a... Um, spring or summer fragrance but when it settles settles down and mixes in with your chemistry it's giving warmth sweetness gourmand people tend to wear gourmands in the fall and winter so i would say that this is a very fun girl fragrance i really do like it i'm really enjoying like i don't know i just got a burst of energy <laughs> A burst of energy um, this is a very sweet perfume but it's not like a childish type of sweet this is an adult I would say this is a mature sweet you know it's not it's not giving childish it is giving I want to smell pretty I want to smell like a pretty adult <laughs> it's a very fresh sweet fragrance I really would consider this one one of my favorite perfumes from the tees collection or from Victoria's Secrets perfumes in general I don't know like this is really speaking to me for real I love it when you when you first spray this you definitely get the tart apple but you also get that bubble gum but the bubble gum settles down into this perfect subtle caramel caramel but you still smell the apple and the caramel mixed together mmm when you when you sniff your arm and you go, mm, you know that you have a winning fragrance. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this, keeping it in my collection, and I hope that they don't discontinue this because they're good for doing that. Hint, hint. But this is a gem. This is a gem, and I would suggest that you go and pick it up. This is my opinion. I believe that all Victoria's Secrets perfumes can be um, considered a starter perfume. You know. When you're just getting out of Bath and Body Works Body Mist and Victoria's Secrets Body Mist, this is another great, great transition piece. I'm just going to say it like, yeah. So all of these notes that are in this perfume mix very well together. It's not doing too much. They just have simple notes and it's like cotton candy, apples, you know, um, bubble gum. And the bubble gum is not like a sickening bubble gum. I, I typically don't like bubblegum fragrances, but they did it just right in this. It's like a mature, a mature bubblegum, a mature sweetness, and that I can appreciate because I don't want to smell like I'm going back to high school. You know what I mean? I want to smell sweet, like a sweet adult. It's very flirty, very flirtatious, 
and it just they did a thing with this one this fragrance is a very comforting cozy type of scent yes i would definitely recommend this for the fall and winter and since we are coming up on these months this is a perfect scent to go ahead and grab i wouldn't say wait because you know they might not have it for long because they quick to take something up off the shelf but i would definitely recommend this to you all i did see some reviews where people were saying that this perfume smelled like burberry her and some other type of perfume now when it comes to the Burberry hair when it opens up I was like um how in the world did they get this how did they get Burberry hair from this now that it has time to settle down on my skin I can see how they would you know put those two together because it kind of, it kind of, it's in that family a little bit but I would say this it still has its own twist and twang to it so if you're going out with the girls date night it is good for date night you know going to the movies out to eat or if you're just doing something fun or you just want to throw on something. Um, I would definitely wear this around the house because I just love smelling good in general. And I would definitely consider wearing this to the gym. Because, you know, people say, you know, you go to the gym, you're going to be sweating anyways. But I still want to sweat and smell good. I'm sorry. That's just me. That's what it is. I will also wear this scent to go run errands if I'm doing shopping and just want to throw on a cute little fragrance. 